Uh, the food there, uh, the best foods were definitely the tacos. Um, they had these little uh, taco stands out in the street. Before you go to any taco stand, make sure you ask the members, many members, just multi as many members as you can, which taco stands are good. Uh, because there were some times that instead of feeding um, pig meat, uh, the taco vendors will uh, slip in dog meat and it would make you really, really sick. So make sure you ask around for which which taco stands are the best um, and go to those ones uh, so that you don't get sick. Um, as long as you go to those ones, you should be fine. They are really, really good. And I highly recommend that you that you try some of the tacos al pastor. Uh, they're a little, it, it's from the thigh, I, I want to say, of the pig, the meat from the thigh. And they would throw uh, pineapple on it and uh, onion and um, cilantro. And you could throw on your, your um, salsa and you were good to go. Um, there are these little tiny things. They're uh, about that big. Uh, it's not big at all, um, but you'd get five of them and you'd be pretty, you'd be pretty full. Um, they love spicy food in Mexico. They will throw spice onto anything. And I'm serious when I say anything. They'll throw spice on their fruit, on their candy, um, on, on, on anything else. So be prepared for that. Um, they don't have very many sour food, sour uh, candies. And instead of those, they just replace them with spicy candy. Um, they would also, uh, there weren't very many burritos. You're not gonna find very many burritos down there. That's more towards the north. Um, but the tacos are excellent. Um, they also serve a dish called chicharron, uh, which is pigskin. Uh, dry, it was okay. Um, but oftentimes they would soak it in a green salsa. And so it had the same kind of consistency of, I'm actually not even sure how to describe it. It would just kind of slide down your throat and didn't taste very good. Um, to me, there were some of the missionaries that loved chicharron, um, but I didn't like it very much. Um, one of the traditional dishes down there is pozole. It's this uh, inflated corn. It's a white corn um, that uh, they they soak in a soup, and um, it's actually one of the dishes, main dishes for. Uh, Christmas time and uh, Independence Day, Mexican Independence, which is September 16th. Um, and I really, really enjoyed that. Uh, oftentimes they would throw in um, chicken strips, or not chicken strips, uh, shredded chicken. Um, and that was really good. Sometimes some of the members like to throw in pig head, which was not so enjoyable, um, <laughs> but uh, you'd always find, uh, for the most part, it was just shredded chicken and it was really, really delicious. They also have lots of really uh, yummy snacks. Uh, they have these, uh, the main bread brand down there is Bimbo, um, and they sell these really, really, just really good uh, sweet breads and that sort of thing. Um, my favorite one was called Nitos, uh, it used to be called El Negrito, um, but people got offended, uh, and so they, they started calling them Nitos. It's just r really what it is, is they've sealed off a hot dog bun and pumped it full of chocolate and then uh, had chocolate icing on top. That's all it was. Um, but if you got those with I like to eat them hot or cold, um, just heat it up in a microwave or, or eat it straight from the wrapper or straight from the store. And I, I thought it was really good. Um, they had lots of fruit bars and, um, 
uh, little candies that were a lot of fun. Um, so I highly recommend that you that you get some of those. Um, uh, one of the things down there that um, I was kind of sad about is they don't really celebrate Thanksgiving very much. Um, and so you want to, uh, so there, there are sometimes members in the wards that will, that love to celebrate Thanksgiving just because, like I said, it's an excuse to uh, throw a big celebration. So um, look for them because uh, they'll have some really, really good food. Uh, as far as desserts are concerned, there's there are always people in the streets that are selling donuts or uh, empanadas, um, which are all, all really good. Um, and they there'll be people selling flan. Um, it was this, I don't even know how to describe it. It's uh, kind of like a jello. Um, I really liked that. Um, and they, I had talked about the tamales. Um, I would usually get those in the morning. Uh, there, my last area, there was a tamale stand. Probably the best tamales I'd tried my entire mission. The area is called uh, Zapata. It's in uh, Valle de Chalco in the uh, Solidaridad stake. And so these tamales, they were different from the, from the rest of them. Uh, they would sell uh, raspberry cheesecake tamales. They would sell um, <laughs> orange flavored tamales, lemon flavored tamales, um, <laughs> arroz con leche tamales, uh, chocolate tamales, all sorts of things. They were that was the best stand by far. Um, for the most part, the tamales were uh, they would have four different. Um, flavors. They would have tamales verdes, which is uh, just green salsa tamales. Uh, they're kind of a milder, spicy ones. Tamales ro uh, de rajas, which is a spicier one. They had a lot of uh, chili, uh, chili peppers stuck in there. Uh, tamale de mole. Mole was a very interesting dish um, where they would grind up a whole bunch of different condiments, just like Tons of different things, different types of peppers, chocolate beans, um, dried fruits and vegetables, etc. Um, they grind it all up and soak it and create this kind of sauce that they would uh, put on top of chicken and rice and other things. And um, so they would have uh, tamales that flavor. There were two different kinds of moles for the most part. Um, Generally, they would either be tamale, or sorry, mole verde or mole uh, roja, uh, which the verde, I, when I got there, I really, really liked mole verde. It was really, really good. Um, and it took me a while to get used to mole uh, roja, but uh, after a while, I, I started to enjoy that a lot as well. Um, they, and then the fourth type of tamale was uh, tamales dulces, which is just like a strawberry uh, flavored tamale. Um, sometimes they would put little raisins in it, and I didn't like that very much. And sometimes they would sell uh, tamales, uh, pineapple flavored tamales, um, which I also didn't like very much, but I mean, to each his own. Um, and they also sell, sold a lot of elotes. Elotes are just it's just corn on the cob, uh, and they would put mayonnaise and cheese and uh, a little bit of uh, chili spice, like a, a dust almost. Um, it was really, really good. Um, and then they would also sell these uh, plantains, uh, fried plantains. A lot of missionaries really loved them. I thought it tasted fine, but... Personally, it made me really sick to my stomach after I ate them. I just felt it just fell in my stomach very heavy, and so um, I I couldn't eat them very much. Uh, but a lot of missionaries really liked those. Uh, 